Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy James from What's Your Forte and today I'm going to be teaming up with Thick F30 and he's going to be helping me put in my Turner Motorsports wheel studs on my BMW M4. Let's get it. Alright everyone, so now we are in the Thick Garage. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Keys Motorsports. Go subscribe to Thick F30. He's gonna be doing some work with me today on doing the stud conversion. So this is the this is, these are the studs right here that I got from Turner Motorsports. Uh, we'll be linking that down in the description below. But I did go with a 60 millimeter. Um, I don't think I ever run spacers on this car because the wheels I got fit perfectly. So I just went with 60 so they don't stick out too much. We also got the um, wire brush right here so we can make sure we clean up the hub. We got everything we need right in here. We got some lubricant. Gotta make sure it's lubed up and ready. Um, then we also <laughs> and then we also got the Loctite right here. So make sure you get a Loctite red if you're going to get it because the red is stronger than the blue. So you don't want to make sure your wheel studs fall off while you're riding down the street or while you're um, racing somebody. Even though, you know, we don't race anyone. But that's about all you need right there. So let's go ahead and get to this install. Again, shout out to Thick F30. He's going to be helping me out today. And um, make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. All right, y'all. So y'all can see this hub right here. It is dirty, <laughs> but dirty. Thick is here to save the day. He's gonna clean it up before we put it on. So this is the before. So I'm definitely gonna show y'all the after, so y'all can compare the two. You get super, like a ton of gratification out of doing this. Oh yeah, you got cakes and stuff on here, bro. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at all that shit. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're not done, but look how better that looks. Man, that looks a whole lot better. And we're not even done yet. That's probably the most I've ever seen, dude. y'all so as y'all can see right here the hub right here is all lubed up definitely definitely is a must while you're doing this you might as well go ahead and knock it out all right y'all so now we'll go ahead and pull the studs out of the package along with the nuts that were supplied and we got to torque it to 25 foot pounds sir so that's what we're going ahead and do now and please make sure you do, do this and use loctite you don't want to try to do this by hand because these are your wheels. You don't want to be driving down the road and then the wheels fall off. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Find the lock type. So this is the red, which is, um, I guess, they say it's like semi-permanent. Mm -hmm. um, you can use the blue or the red. Some people think that the red is permanent, but it's not. If you, yeah. if you use the right methods of pulling it off, you can. Just a little, little bit of heat and a little bit of force, and you'll be able to get it off. The red is supposed to be stronger. Yeah. But, I mean, do we really know? No. But they say it's stronger, so that's what we're going to believe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, as y'all see there, he's applying, it, he's applying it to the edge that's actually being screwed into the oh. rotor there. Yeah. So don't apply it to the other edge. Apply it to the one that's going in. Yeah, you don't want it on the other edge. <laughs> you don't want it where your lug nuts go. That would be a bad day. And this stuff gets like everywhere, so definitely want a rag okay. on hand. I mean, it looks better already. I don't know why BMW, if you're watching this video, if you ever watch any of these videos, just make it like this from stock. It make everyone's lives easier. Probably even your tech's life's easier. Hell yeah, dude. I agree.
All right, everyone, so sometimes you run into the issue where these will strip out. So what we're doing right now is we're gonna go ahead and do the two nut method. So you wanna put one nut on, then the other one on, and then you can torque it down that way. Uh, so you can do it this way. It does take a little bit longer, but you do ensure that you don't strip these out in case you ever have to take them off. Sir. All right, everyone, as you can see here, the wheel studs are on. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the wheel on. That much easier this is gonna be. Yeah, it should be a lot easier because we did had a little, put a little effort into it. Bro, 10 times easier. Yes, sir. 10 times easier. So you always want to start these? Never yeah, just. The hand. Yeah, I always start with the hand. Make sure we start. This be a clean setup, dude. I like it. So, star pattern. Oops. Clean. Cleans up, but yeah, man, they look good. So we'll go ahead and torque these down to 196 to 100 foot pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. That is like a far cleaner setup. Oh yeah, and a lot easier to get on them off. Oh yeah, it's so much easier to <laughs> All right everyone, so the wheel studs are in on each wheel as you can kind of see there. Makes it a whole lot easier to get your wheels on and off. Definitely is a must have, must do for any BMW enthusiast. Anybody that works in a car, you gotta have it, man. So shout out again to John. He did most of the work. So definitely shout out to him. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, man. I mean, this dude putting out a lot of content. And he's got a nasty M2 over there. And the thing's nasty, man. So definitely go follow him. Make sure you go support. And that's it, man. That's the video for today, man. So as always, please like, subscribe, comment down below. And we are out of here. Peace.